Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Flux. Last episode, we filled out our team quite a bit in the starting area, grabbed ourselves a full team of six Pokemon as the EXP all is on by default. No reason not to fill out our team to have everyone uh, leveled up for options. We have ourselves Humboldt, we have ourselves Squirmy, we have Alton, and we have ourselves Cavamy, which is very, very interesting. This one I think interested me the most so far, purely because it has Friend Guard, which is useful for the double battles we'll probably be experiencing, and it also has moves like Helping Hand. So, very potentially good setup Pokemon that has caught my eye. We'll see how everyone else does, um, but for now, let's go ahead and make our way into the next town. As we were in that first area for a little bit, we had ourselves a rival battle. That is all out of the way. Oh yeah, we get the cool town overviews. Nice. Show me what this town is about. It's about streetlights. That's that's the town. <laughs> okay. Pokemon Center. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I did see our two rivals were standing around in front of a building, which may be important. We can head there. Probably straight away. We are healed, after all. We don't need to go straight to the Pokemon Center, as we are healed up from the Nursa, the electric type thing. Pondor City. Alright, let's take a look around, shall we? I do always want to find goodies, but I don't know if I want to talk to every single person. Like, there's a chance they give me a TM or something, so I do kind of want to. But also, there's a lot of time. It seems like a pretty big place. They got a lot of street lights. Uh, what does this sign say, first of all? Southern Flux Nexus. Okay, first of all, can I go there? That sounds cooler than Condor City. I want to go to the Flux Nexus. Figures. <laughs> Past here is the Southern Flux Nexus. Sorry, but it's authorized personnel only beyond this point. But it sounds cool. In liquid form, Flux Energy is a fantastic power source. I thought he was going to say a fantastic energy drink, and to be honest, I am intrigued by the idea of drinking the Flux. That might be a really bad idea, but that's to be found out after we've done it, right? We should just go do it, I think. We should drink the Flux. That sounds like an amazing plan. Wait a bit. Ooh. Okay, this is why we click on bins. This is why, because we can get leftovers, which I don't know if I really have anyone that utilizes this super well. I'm going to put it on Moz, just because it has the highest HP right now. That's the only reason. Um, Altera Pokemon League, the Condor City Battle Arena. Is this where our rivals were? No, it actually isn't. We should go to the rivals, but I'm going to peek my nose in here first, as this area does intrigue me. Hey, hey you. Seen any league trainers around? I'm looking for my next scoop. Eh, you're a trainer too. I get, I don't deal with small fry. Okay, I want to um, push her off of this ledge real quick. It won't be enough to like seriously injure her, but I just want her to feel bullied. <laughs> Pokemon, Pokemon. Let's go, let's go. Fight, fight, win. What on earth is your get up? What are you? What are you? I was about to say, what are you wearing? But to be honest, what are you? It's better. Uh, okay, we have the Pokemon League here. We were told to, like, register. The latest season of the Altera Pokemon League is concluded. As it is presently the off-season, the Championship Arena is closed. We hope to see you again when the new season begins. Hmm, what is this? I'm sure all of this would be explained to me if I went the proper way. The Flux Kiosk. The user must have a Flux Bracer to use our services. Ooh. Okay. I'm... I'm definitely going to be told all of these things later. Oh, we can remember moves. No one can remember moves because they aren't high enough level. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's to be expected. Uh, we already have Pokeballs. Let's go find our rivals real quick rather than um, be in this area where we will definitely be brought to after we have spoken to them. This is 100% going to be a place where we have to get signed up for and we will get brought here by the story. I just went on a little bit of a look -sees to see what we could see around, and I wanted to see if we could find any kind of goodies. We did find goodies. We found leftovers, so that was nice. Uh, but these are who we're after, right? There you are, Carlos. I knew you wouldn't take long. Uh, yeah, I definitely didn't take long. I didn't go get distracted. I would never. We're finally here. The Altera League HQ. Once we register, we'll officially become League Trainers. This is so exciting. I mean, this whole day has been exciting. Still, my heart is pounding like crazy. Could we go inside? See no reason to wait. Come on, let's go. 
You two should walk around with your Pokemon, you know? It's it's a cool feature. I like it. You can do diagonal movement as well, which is really silly. It's really silly. I do greatly enjoy it, though. Oh, well, never mind. I'm not going to have my Pokemon anymore. Is that... Champion Alistair? Shh, don't interrupt. Don't you know who he's talking to? It's the League Director himself. Yeah, I didn't have a clue. He's got the, the vibe of a skunk. What a, what a nice compliment to someone I've never seen. <laughs> you got the vibe of a skunk. <laughs> I see, I see. It's like that, is it? Seems like ultra Pokemon attacks are becoming more and more frequent. This is why now, more than ever, it's important that the region has a strong champion. Alistair, please. I recognize what you're saying. The answer is still no. We won't participate in the next league tournament. Did he just say what I think? Alistair's dropping out of the league? But he's the champion. Alistair, the most powerful trainer in the region. Steady master of the skies. Oh, steely master of the skies. Steel types, you say. I do like steel types. So many trainers all across Altera look up to you. I can't understand why you're just walking away. Sorry, my answer is final. Besides, there will be other strong trainers. In fact, some of them might even be here in this room. Uh, is he looking this way? He shouldn't be. He shouldn't be. He just gave us level 5 Brejects, okay? I have not forgotten. I know he gave me a Breject. Okay, stay calm. Act normal. Those three. But they happen to be the three trainers you were telling me about earlier. That's correct. Though they did not ha yet have Pokemon of their own, they helped me fight off the Alter Pokemon in Warbler Park. Perhaps you should place your hopes in someone like that instead. Alistair. I can sense there's no convincing you to change your mind. That determination is what brought you to the championship, after all. Still, should you ever reconsider, you know my door is always open. I appreciate it. Thank you for all you have done for me. Aquila. That's a fun name. That's a fun name to say. Sounds like a, a alcoholic drink. <laughs> tequila. I'm thinking of tequila. Okay, I'll admit it. I'm thinking of tequila. His name sounds like tequila. There you go. And perhaps I shall return to the league one day. Until then, adios. I'm off to go be in the skies. You free? Take good care of those Pokemon. Sometimes it takes a firm hand to raise them to their fullest potential. Are you saying that I should smack my Pokemon? If it got their IVs up, I would consider it. Um, <laughs> that responsibility, it isn't one taken lightly. But I believe you already have the right instincts. The future of the Altera Pokemon League is yours now. Oh well. Can I have the non-Breject Pokemon? Okay. Off. Fair enough. Fine. That really just happened? Alistair's not going to participate in the league anymore? Too bad. I really wanted to battle him someday. I mean, you could still battle him outside of the league. You've just got to find him. Excuse me? You free? Well, well. What a way to ruffle some feathers, eh? Alistair. So headstrong. He reminds me of myself when I was a young trainer. Ah, where are my manners? Let me introduce myself. My name is Tequila Altair. Director of the Altera Pokemon League. I'm not even going to try. <laughs> but please, just call me Tequila. You free? Alistair told me all about you. He did? Why, of course. It's not every day that you find someone with the guts to stand up to wild Alter Pokemon. Without a Pokemon by your side, even. A courage and determination and stupidity and really, really dumb decision making are the skills that make a great trainer. You free, you're here to register for the League, aren't you? Yes, we are. What so? Now normally, there's a lot of paperwork involved, background check, exam, but if you have a sponsor from within the league, none of that matters. And it just so happens that champion, uh, former champion, Alistair, vouched for the three of you himself. Excuse me? Mr. League Director Altair, sir. ay 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 is such a fun thing to say. Can we bring back people saying ay 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 God, oh, that'd be great. How many times do I have to say not to call me Mr. Altair? Sounds like my brother. So stuffy. Just call me Tequila. Very well. Director Tequila, here are the trainer cards you requested. Thanks. I'm sure you're familiar with the family business. Altair Corp. Nope. My brother Antares and sister Andromeda run it. We like A's here. As for me, I never had the head for all that corporate stuff. Now, Pokemon battles, that's what sets my heart ablaze. It gives me such hope seeing bright youngsters like you. Battle me. Here, take these trainer cards and begin your adventure. Battle me. Battle me. I want to get absolutely annihilated by level 60 Pokemon. Go. <laughs> oh, it's so shiny and new. And that's not all. It is my honor to present you with my family's greatest invention. Fox Bracer? 
Mark of all great Alteran Pokemon trainers. I remember that kiosk. Your very own Flux Braces. That's what I was hoping for. It makes sense. It makes sense. The Flux Kiosk would be in the town where we get it. You know, it'd be the first time we see it. A Bracer is the most useful tool in a trainer's arsenal. Other than your Pokemon, of course. I'd explain what I mean, but I think it's best done with a live demonstration. Which of you wants to try it out? Me. Me. I do. I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. Me, 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 me. 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 Oh, so it's you. Before we begin, I'll teach all of your Pokemon a Flux move free of charge. Oh, so it's not just going to, like, enhance... Oh. Oh, okay. At the moment, in my mind, I'm comparing it to a Z move. And I don't know if that's the right idea or not. Oh, look at the little guy. Look at the little goopy Pikachu. Look at goopy Pikachu. Now, Flux is an incredible discovery. It has many uses here in Altera. In this case, it's used in Pokemon battles. When exposed to Flux energy, Pokemon can unleash incredible moves. Now, you see that button on your bracer? Uh, the big one that says uh, self-destruct. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pressing it. Um, <laughs> Why not try it out for yourself? I missed a line because I was being silly. Um, ah, I see, but Flux. Speed Bloom, FP three over one. Super effective, sure. Why not? Speed Bloom, please. Okay, stat boosts, we gain speed. Electrified Floof? Did that say? That's a fun that's a fun one. Which sets up an electric current. We speed bloom. Super effective damage. Very good, but did you know? There are many different kinds of flux attacks. For example. Electrified. Say electrify it, it probably said flood, not floof, didn't it? That's fine. We get our leftovers recovery, I think. Yeah, there we go. One HP. We need to level up once more to get above 32 of two HP. As you can see, Flux attacks have endless possible combinations. They may cause special effects or even alter the battlefield. Using them wisely is key. Now, go all out with what you've learned. Um, sure. Uh, leaf. G goodbye. Uh, water type Pikachu, I guess? Ooh, that's a lot of XP. That's some good XP right there, across the board. Okay, okay. Out and with disarming voice as well, more fairy moves. Ah, that's the stuff. And our money, nice, nice. I may be retired from Pokemon training, but I do enjoy a good battle now and then. I'm sure you notice that these Flux Braces are rather basic. But they're capable of so much more. Follow me. Ah, there's the kiosk. See, I told you we'd get to the kiosks if we just went the way the game wanted me to, rather than be running around like an idiot. <laughs> These flusk ki flux kiosks will allow you to power up your bracer. Press your hand against the receiver and you'll see what I mean. Can I self-destruct? Ooh. All right, this is the flux kiosk. It lets you upgrade your bracer to raise its max FP and unlock new functions. These upgrades don't cost money. Instead, they use a special currency. Flux Shards, which I get from Alter Pokemon, if I had to guess? Right now, you don't have any Flux Shards, I will give you some. Nice. Great, now that you have some, time to upgrade your Bracer. And I'll start with increasing your maximum FP. Oh, sure, I'll do that, that sounds smart. Nice, your Flux Bracer just got stronger. There's other fun upgrades you can get too, like unlocking new Flux moves or useful tools that can help you out in the wild. Can I put a Fire-type Flux move on my Grass-type? I'll let you discover those for yourself. I want to know if I can teach anything, any type, or if it's only, you know, like, my type gets it. I'm sure you figured out by now, the way to strengthen your Flux Bracer is through defeating Alter Pokemon. That makes sense. That makes, they're the two main mechanics of the game. It checks out. That's the reason we have the League to begin with. Altera depends on brave trainers like you to keep its citizens and Pokemon safe. So we wanted to reward the greatest among us. With fame and fortune. Does anyone still play Among Us? I'm actually curious. That does make sense. Most people wouldn't risk their safety without a reason. Hey, you're a pretty smart kid. You know that? I bet you'll go far. One last thing. You know how the Altera League works, don't you? I will go with no, just because this whole thing has been an explanation so far. Why stop now? Keep explaining. Altera's Pokemon League works a little different from other regions. Rather than collecting gym badges, oh, trainers compete against one another to earn League emblems. 
There are three league arenas across the region, one in Rooktown, one in Corvo City, and one in Cardinal City. Trainers who gather all three league emblems can then compete in the championship tournament here in Condor City. Trainers that are just getting started, most head north to Rooktown for their first challenge. You can learn even more about how the tournament works at Alba Academy. I'm good. My alma mater. Ah, that brings back memories. Well, I dare say I've talked long enough. Raise your Pokemon, defeat the altars, and climb the ranks of the league. Today an adventure awaits. I'll be rooting for you. Now, if you'll excuse me. I want to see if I can teach a fire type move um, to anyone. That was unexpected. Looks like it's official. We're fully fledged trainers now. So, um, where was it Tequila said we should go? Rooktown? Rooktown is north of here. Now that we're official league trainers, they'll let us through the gate that heads to Gull Coast. Personally, I don't think we're strong enough to challenge the league yet. Speak for yourself! Did you see me destroy that sluchu? I, I, yeah. That's why I plan on stopping at Alba Academy. Well, that's a good idea. I bet we can learn all kinds of stuff there that'll make us better trainers. First, I want to explore Condor City. I know it's close to home, but I feel like I never got to explore it properly. That's alright, there's no rush after all. How about we split up for now and meet up again at Alba Academy? Sounds good. Catch you later. Testing time. Flux Kiosk. Ooh, there's way more options here. Um, Sharp increases attack by one stage. Defense, special attack, special defense, speed. So we got speed bloom. Which means this is the first part of it that gives us the buff. And bloom is down here. It's opposing Pokemon with a 90 base power grass type attack. Okay. Dark fighting fairy. Okay. Which would make sense with the typings of the other starters that you get depending on which character you choose. Okay. Um. Interesting. Interesting. I don't want to waste my shards. I assume they're probably infinite somehow. Because you could always just catch a new Pokemon and then you want to teach it a new Flux move. Oh, there's also a HP Recover one. I went over that. Um, and I assume two is going to be attacked by two stages. Four is going to be defense by two stages, so on and so forth. And there might be a stronger version of Flame for 27, for example, that might be like a base 150 fire type attack, maybe, or something. Uh, I'm curious if we can teach. Blood. Ooh, I, oh, I okay. Hmm. Well, we need to test stuff, so I'm gonna grab Flood. I'm gonna grab Flood. Uh, Flux menu. Flux moves. You have Speed Bloom. You have Speed Gale. You have Speed. Ch Everyone has Speed. Everyone has Speed right now. Um, you I want to have Fairy preferably. There's nothing there. Um, how do I change things around? Move details. Can I change this from speed? Maybe I would need a water type in order to teach the water one. So let's... Rather than... See, I kind of want to grab the fairy one so we could maybe put the fairy type attack on Alton. But I also want to see if we can maybe get, like, special attack boost going. Typing to me is more important. Speed is good. Speed is fine. I'm okay with raising speed by one stage. I'm going to grab the fairy one as well. And I want to see if I can put the fairy one onto uh, Alton. So you teach flux move. Okay, so I can't teach anything to anyone for infinite coverage. It makes sense. It makes sense, but I did want to test, because obviously that'd be incredibly strong. Speed Gale will be replaced with Speed Magic. Yes. Yes, that is what I want to do. Good. That is fine with me. Um, I wonder if it just uses the higher stat. Because it just says power, but it doesn't say which stat it would use for the attack. It might just use the higher of the two. I don't remember if that was how Z moves worked, because to be honest, I don't care for Z moves. <laughs> I never really learned how Z moves work super well, as they weren't my favorite. They weren't. 
The only thing I remember doing that I kind of enjoyed was Zed Rain Dance Zerkatry because it would boost your speed by one, it would set up the rain, and then you could always land Thunder. That's about all I remember. Oh! This isn't leftovers. Trubbish? I don't care about no trubbish. You're an ordinary Pokemon. I want to catch new stuff, although I am curious if I... Okay, that is not very effective. All right. I just wanted to see if, like, Fox moves were always going to be super effective or something weird. But yeah, it doesn't seem like it. It was just coincidence that we led with a grass type and the person that we fought had a water type Pikachu variant. So that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, let's go ahead and speak to some people around, shall we? This region has changed. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Cardinal City. Is this the Academy? Uh, hi. Aquatic Alter Pokemon are a recent thing. Not only did they attack the tram line, but they're also targeting ships out at sea. Hunters have to be extra vigilant. Oh, okay. So this tram line is disabled, so this will be, like, later on. I think Pokemon Uranium also had, like, a train station tram line type thing that became available as you went on. Just a trash can. I'm going to collect them all, though, because I got leftovers out of one. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. The Wings of Altera. Cool, cool. Have you evolved any of the Pokemon yet? Evolution is one way to unlock a Pokemon's true potential. Mm -hmm. Uh, this looks like the Pokemon Center. I don't think this would be an academy. You're by the thing. Do you have anything interesting? Technology is incredible. I'm sure you've heard that before, but it really is true. Uh, you just tell me about PCs, huh? Okay, I'm not... I, I get the idea of how PCs work. That's fine. Rumors and local gossip. You might learn something if you listen closely. Okay. okay. I will listen... I will listen. I am intrigued. Hmm. Alt Pokemon attack the bridge. We just learned that at the tram, and there's no one else there. What is this? Interesting. Okay. Maybe when we go to the next Pokemon Center, there will be a little thing at the back. It could be like um, Pokemon X and Y, where there's like TM stores at the back and stuff as we played through Pokemon X somewhat recently, and it reminded me that that was a thing. Hey, hello and welcome to the Condor City Department Store. Department Store? Like the big one? We're running a special promotion. Please accept these complimentary potions. Happily! Department Store? Uh, move relearning and forgetting. Not, not useful for us yet. We can't remember any moves. Our Pokemon are too low of a level, but... Also can be light here. Interesting. Yeah, this is a full-on big department store in the first city. I don't have enough money to get stuff here yet. Oh my god, I can buy four stores from the get-go. That's crazy, actually. That's really useful. Four stores from the get-go is really nice. Obviously expensive, and you don't want to grab them early when potions will do, but I do like the option, at least. Uh, what else do we have? Quick balls! I'm tempted to spend my money on Quick Balls, but I'm curious what else we can get. It's crazy that this is in the first town. That is crazy. Box Kiosk. Okay. See, I know what that is. I'm learning. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, I'm broke. Um, Metal Claw. Interesting early. Icy Wind. Ooh, Psybeam. From the first town. That's pretty good, actually. Icy Wind, Psybeam, they're both interesting. The rest, not super interesting to me, unless you want to, like, really get an early uh, weather team going, but I don't think we're going to be setting up a weather team with the Pokemon that we have right now, so I'm not too concerned about the rest of them. If we get enough money, Psybeam might be interesting to come back and grab. That's your standard um, EV enhancing items. I would talk to all these people, but to be honest, the city seems huge, and... Uh, you know, I don't want to be here forever, as this is just the demo. Out of stock right now, a shipment of evolutionary stones was attacked by alt Pokemon en route. Apologies, you'll have to wait for us to restock. I wonder if that means that there is something early on that evolves by stone that they don't want you to get too early. Because you'd get too powerful. Mayhaps. Possibly. Uh, okay. Let's go find the academy. Alright, let's skadoodle out of there and go back to jamming out. I am going to speak to this person on this bench, because people on benches give me stuff. 
When your Pokemon is following you, sometimes it will pick up useful items. Oh? Nope, just jamming. Okay. I respect it. I respect it. Music is a bop. What do you mean you don't hear anything? You just gotta open your ears, man. There's fresh tunes wherever you go. I was already kind of doing that, to be honest, before I even spoke to him. I was already feeling it. Uh, did I speak to this one? Probably. Speak to this one like I'm speaking to the trash can. <laughs> Click on this one. Do I need to go up there? Probably. That seems like a very central, important area. Let's see if we can get our way up there. Uh, did I click on this one? A luxury ball. Nice. Nice. Okay. I'm gonna go up here, assuming this is the way they want me to go. Hello! Hmm. Howdy, welcome to Altera's Regional Air Taxi Service. Let me guess, is this your first time? Well then, let me explain. This is my partner Pokemon, Alba Shell. I want one. You can carry passengers on its back just about anywhere in Altera. And normally, the service is quite expensive. However, for trainers like yourself, the Altera League has a special offer in place. Please accept this, an official air taxi pass. Oh, I don't need fly. Ooh. Ooh, okay. I like that, I like that. I like not needing fly. That makes me feel good. Um, what is this? This just goes north. A zinc. Okay, I don't care as much. Well, money, actually, to get Psybeam. What about for money? This will take us to Gull Coast. If I have flux shards, I'll spend them at the kiosk to get a new flux move for my Pokemon. But to get them, I have to defeat all the Pokemon. Scary. <laughs> Why is that, that like that? Um... And I assume you're going to sell nothing compared to the department store. So I don't even know. Ma'am, you need to shut your shop down. There is a way better shop just to the side. Sorry. Um, okay, you're just going to talk about saving. Oh, hold up. I'm only allowed to let you through if you're an official trainer with the Altera Pokemon League. Ah, what do you know? That's an official League trainer card. Well then, go right on through. Maybe the Academy is in the next town? Or maybe it was that place I went to at the very beginning. It was probably the place I went to at the very beginning, wasn't it? Okay, this is the Pokemon League, not the Academy, so I don't want to be here, meaning I guess we're going to head back up towards Gull Coast. They let me through, so I assume I should be fine to just run on over down Gull Coast. So this episode, I think we're probably going to wrap it up here as we run over to the Gull Coast, and next time we will go through Gull Coast and make it to the Academy, which I assume is on a future route. Uh, this episode was a lot of tutorial stuff. Uh, I do apologize for the lack of action, but we have our flux braces now, we have our mechanics, and next episode we will get into some action along the next route, I presume. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and above further ado, 